Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. As you can see, I got a great big box. I like great big boxes sometimes. It's like, uh, my life is like uh, Christmas in, in uh, January, February, March, April now, I got Christmas again. It's, I like Christmas in every month of the year. Uh, this company contacted me, it's Joolka, J-O-O-L-C-A. They make a camping hot water heater system. One of the things people ask me all the time is say, I, and say, what do you miss the most? And I don't miss much, but the one thing I have consistently missed is running hot water. I, I really do enjoy having running hot water. And I, whenever I'm in a home, which isn't very often, I, I enjoy that, that feature of it the most. And that's what I miss. I don't miss running water in the least. I do miss hot water. Uh, and now they have these new on-demand hot water systems, and they answer the, all the problems. You don't have a, a single six gallon tank that has to run a long time to heat up that water and then you're done, you turn it off and you've lost all that heat and all that warmth, the warm water, and, and then you gotta do it all over again the next time. All in all, that, I just, that doesn't make sense for me in a smaller vehicle. If it does for you, then great, go for it. But now I'm gonna be in an ambulance. <laughs> and the great thing about an ambulance is, boy, there is storage room all over the place. And uh, I get a big diesel engine that can haul any amount of weight, and it's a one-ton dually. I'm not going to worry about adding, you know, a 20 or 30 gallon a hot water a tank, fresh water tank to it. I just won't care at all. So for now, for the first time in my life, I'm I'm able to have a uh, hot water system, and I think I want one. And they're going to send this to me for free to test out. And uh, looking at their website, it looks fantastic. It is something that I think all of us would consider if we have the room and the weight carrying capacity in our vehicles for it. Now we'll, we're going to do an unboxing and we'll learn all about it. The system I bought or that they sent to me, I didn't pay them anything. Now, I'm, And they have nothing to say about this video. Uh, they sent me this. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it for myself, which is rare. Um, but I promise you that if it turns out I hate it, I just won't put out the video. Uh, rather, than, rather than tell you how awful it is, I'll, I just won't put out a video. If you're watching this video, that means I loved it and it's great. And it honestly is great. Uh, and I, from what I've seen, I think it's gonna be great. Probably the hardest thing I'm gonna do is get it out of the box. Did you see the name here? And this is, so if you wanna look it up, this is, the, it's J-O-O-L-C-A dot com. That's how you find them. All right, and I love this about this thing. It all fits inside this box. I love that. This is the whole system. So it's designed, I can mount, you can mount it in a rig. I'm planning on mounting it in the rig, but it is designed to go in the back of the car, the SUV, and take it camping with you. The whole system is right here, and I love that. Boy, they give you a big manual here. Well, there's a lot of stuff. Hot tap user guide. This is a big user guide. That is a big user guide. I'm impressed with that already. So one of the things I love about them is that it has these really cool quick connects. You just plug that in and close it. And so there's no, there is no installation required. It's all quick connects. It's color coded. Red means it's coming out hot and anything blue goes in cold. And every single one of these has this quick connect. And I'll show you what they quick connect into here right now. Uh, really cool. And so here's the quick connects and they're color coded. I mean, even I can do this. <laughs> I mean, it's just blue and red and gas. And so, and they all have a quick connect. You just plug them in and boom, you're, you're, you're going. This is the shower head. And it has a switch right here. And this switch turns on the water and it turns on the entire system. So you've, you've got this all hooked up, however you want it, installed in the rig or just sitting outside your rig at a, camp, at a campsite. You push that button, it comes on, hot water comes out instantly. That's it, that's all you have to do. This will uh, connect to this. And I'm not sure exactly where it connects. I'll have to figure all those details out. But this is a sink. This is your sink. It comes, it come, literally comes with a kitchen sink. And it's the same thing. It has an on-off that turns the whole system on or whole system off. And this attaches to the sink. 
So you've got the sink. This then is your pump. Uh, it's a, apparently it's a pretty strong pump, but the pump comes with it. It's complete in every way. Uh, you recognize this. This is the, this just screws right onto your propane, and that's all you have to do. There's no tapping. There's no plumbing. There's no propane plumbing. This just goes straight into your uh, your bottle. I've got a, a small bottle that I carry with me. I'll probably start uh, carrying a 20-pound bottle and my small bottle, um, and that'll keep this going. This will run 15 hours on a 20-pound bottle. And that doesn't sound like a lot at first, but think about how often will it actually, you actually use it. If you use it for a shower, a shower may take you 15 minutes, but I doubt it. Okay, so if you don't want to mount it, what are you going to do with it? Uh, how am I going to set this thing up? It needs to set this way. Uh, and so they give you this little stand. This is just a stand. It's nothing else. It holds it. So if you're just going camping or if you want to set this up outside, they give you this stand to put it in and uh, if you're not mounting it permanently, and a handle. So to move it around then, you would just pick it up and move it around. You can put it anywhere you want. Move it a little bit away from the rig or, or anywhere you want. You could, even, you could even hang this off a tree if you had a good stout, sturdy tree in the National Forest. So with this kit, uh, you get the tub, uh, you get a nicer stand. It's all complete. This is red, it's just red to red, and that goes in there and snaps on. If you've ever worked with a quick connect of any kind for water, or for propane, it's just really obvious how that works. And then uh, the blue one, which would be the input, does the same. Pull it back, put it in, close it. So uh, these quick connects make everything, the color coding and the quick connects makes everything easy. Um, what it does then is, uh, this is the, it has a maximum of 120 degrees. It will never go above 120 degrees which should not be scalding. That means it should, you should be safe. Uh, even if you have it set accidentally at 120, you won't get burned. Let me go over some of the quick facts, some of the important considerations when you have one of these. It sets up really fast. You've seen it's uh, quick connects and color coded. No big installation. You don't even have to mount the thing anywhere in any way, shape or form. It will run 15 hours on a, I assume a 20 pound bottle. And again, you're not running very much. So if you'd use it an hour at a time, which you would never use it at an hour at a time because who takes an hour shower? I mean, if you take a really long shower, that's a 15 minute shower. So, uh, you know, it's, it's gonna run a very, very long time. It's very little draw. It just uses uh, D cell batteries for power, no electrical connections whatsoever, just two D cells, probably just starts the display, the display and and, and the electronic ignition. So it, uh, it will hopefully it'll last a while, we'll see. It runs dry without damage. And that's a really big thing because some pumps, if they ever run dry, they depend on the water for their uh, flu uh, lubrication. And it will run dry without damage. And that's important because some pumps depend on the water to be there with, for lubrication. And if, the water, if it runs dry, no lubrication, they can actually freeze up. So if you accidentally let it run dry, no harm done. That's a really good thing. Uh, I love the on and off switch. You don't have to turn this on and let it go for a while and then go to this and turn it on and off. Just the one switch on the hand controls the whole thing. I love that. It has a... Uh, a flow of up to 1.6 gallons per minute, and that's a good flow. Uh, if you watch their videos on high, that's on high. It's a really good flow. I don't think you'll have any problem, even if you're, you know, you're a woman with really thick, long hair. I think it'll still work just fine. But it also has a, uh, a lower setting where it uses half of that, uh, three quarters of a gallon per minute. And so that will last you even longer. So if you're using it as in the kitchen sink, Way to last a long time in the kitchen sink. Uh, and one of their other safety, big safety issues is it will never go above 122 degrees. So anything above that, and you're talking about burning yourself and really harming yourself. 122 is real hot, but it's not uh, damaging. You'll touch it, you'll think, whoa, and you'll get your hand away from there real quick. Uh, and you're not going to be, be hurt. You're just going to be scared. And that's good. That's what you want. And of course you keep it down and set it at a reasonable level. And I would assume the lower you keep it set, the longer it will last. That is right. I remember seeing that in one location. It said on high, it went 15 hours. And on the lowest setting, it would go, I think 45. 
three times as long. So it will not burn much propane. Even on high, it, it lasts a long, long time. I doubt if many of us would use 15 hours in a month, even on high, uh, I'd be really surprised. So everything I've seen so far makes it look really, really good to me. But of course, things look good, you know, in, in the videos and you get it and it doesn't work and everything's hard and it's kind of sloppily made. We'll find out. I don't know yet, but we'll find out together. And whatever I find out, I'll tell you and it will be the truth.